Hey yo everyone, welcome back to the final episode of Game Raiders Week 4. We are finishing off Game Raiders Week testing out fireworks against bosses, you know, seeing if we can kill bosses using only fireworks and you know, I think it's possible. I've done it in the past. It takes a lot of fireworks to kill some bosses, but you know, I've done it in the past, so I have hope that we could kill a bunch today. But before we check that out, let's just look at how many firework types there are. There's only four, sadly. I feel like hopefully in 1.4 they add more, but uh, we'll see. We got a red one, a green one, a blue one and a yellow one and also when i was looking up the word firework in the mod browser i found a mod that's a year old or the last time it was updated was a year ago and it's called the firework gun mod in all caps firework gun and uh i feel like you guys can figure out what these do but we'll test these out later on in the video but first let's put fireworks up against king slime i cthulhu let's just see how well it does against these early bosses all right so we're gonna put this up against the king slime first now if all these fireworks are not gonna be able to kill the king slime i'm gonna be surprised now obviously not every single firework is gonna hit i just have a large radius just in case you say king slime is over here in the corner or king slime is over here in the left corner no it'll hit them no matter what but that's at least five what, how many layers six layers of fireworks so it, it should work so let's get him to the very top here and let's hit him boom perfect the game freezes for a second to shoot that little star at the top but perfect we were able to kill the king slime i should let you guys know that each firework does 150 damage i think that's what it said on the wiki so 150 times a lot I, i'm bad at math but 150 times a lot that, that's a lot of damage is it not so there you go that was the king slime so let's go ahead and reset everything and try it out on the eye of cthulhu all right so we are testing this now against the eye of cthulhu i don't even know how much health the eye of cthulhu has same thing with the king slime but let's hope that that's enough oh that should be easy that should be easy boom and just like that it's gone and of course the game freezes because all the fireworks go off at once as expected i don't know how to stop that maybe turn down textures but yeah there you go the eye cthulhu complete maybe we should just go down the vanilla boss list and try and kill every single one and see how far we can get with that all right so i turned the area into corruption so we can test it out against the eater of worlds now the eater of worlds is probably going to be one of the easiest ones to kill with this because he's a long worm he can pretty much get hit by a majority of the fireworks so let's go ahead let's put it to the test let me zoom out a little bit just to make sure I get it perfect when he comes over. Okay. That should be good. Oh, did that kill him? No, he still lived from that. He still lived from that. All right, let's set up a second layer to the best of my ability. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. I don't know. I really thought that would have got him somehow, but you know, I didn't take into account that he has multiple segments. You know, that's just something that slipped my mind. So let me try my best to uh, set this up again here and kill him. So maybe we should have like a little little thing that we should check off if they're killable with the the amount of layers that i have set up by default you know if the fire risks can kill them in one go and i don't have to reload like this over and over again now i was trying to find a mod that adds in a dispenser type item like minecraft so i could have the fireworks just keep on replacing over and over again but i don't know i couldn't find anything i i asked on my discord too and some people pointed me towards the uh, mech transfer mod which is like a redstone type of mod for minecraft in a way it adds in a lot of technical stuff and uh, even that didn't didn't have a dispenser so yeah i don't know but we're down to this last piece this took us a good couple of shots to kill him so congrats to the eater i guess for being strong enough to tank one direct hit i feel like the only reason he lived though is because he had multiple segments all right so next up is the uh i or not I, next up is the brain of cthulhu now this one i feel like it's gonna be the same as the eater in terms of we're gonna take out you know part of it but not all of it because obviously the brain of cthulhu has uh, multiple phases two to be exact the first phase oh we might have got it no we missed it i thought we were gonna get it with like those last couple of fireworks that were you know slowly coming to the top but no we only took out the creeps but we still got them damn that, that i feel like we could have got them we we almost did but you know oh well moving on to the next one all right so now we're testing out the queen bee and maybe we can test out the dungeon guardian and skeletron because as you can see this summons in the dungeon guardian during daytime and then at night summons in skeletron so let's do it queen bee nice so I, I really have a feeling that this like row of six fireworks can take out like a majority of all the bosses at least pre hard mode i don't know how we're gonna do the wall flesh if i'm being honest i might have to go to hell and set up in a similar setup but so far it's looking pretty good it's able to take out bosses that don't really have multiple faces all right so let's go ahead and put it up against skeletron let's see it this i expect to be easy eight eight thousand eight hundred though we're getting to we're getting near 10k but let's see 
damn okay so we got him with like if you saw that on the little like pause that happened when it froze we got him with like the fourth row and we still had the whole fifth and sixth row to go so it's looking like like i said we might be able to take on a bunch of these i will test it against the uh, dungeon guardian but i don't expect to kill the dungeon guardian but might as well test it anyways all right let's see it in action let's see it in action come on boom yeah that that, that did absolutely nothing <laughs> all right so i have no idea how exactly the wall of flesh is gonna work i've only set up four layers so let's hope this works i don't know i really hope it works let's wait for him to get a little bit deeper in here and boom it worked wow only four layers killed them not too bad all right we're moving on to the twins now this one i expect to be no problem at all let's do it twins about to get destroyed by fireworks imagine dying to fire I might have spoke too soon all right so i was gonna go through and do every single boss but if we can't even kill the twins i, I don't know if we'll even check out the rest of the boss the 42k health is that how much health skeleton prime usually has or is calamity doing something calamity might be doing something honestly but let's wait for him come down a little bit more yes perfect and that should be good okay so that did about you know half of his health so i already finished the video and i'm editing it and i felt kind of bad that i didn't try every boss because i was just going to use this first set of fireworks as you know my control my base set to test against bosses but i said you know why not let's try all bosses with two sets okay maybe not all bosses but let's try the remaining bosses i haven't attempted yet with two sets and see if the two sets can actually kill them boom destroy let's see how much of his uh, body we can get right here crossing and then i'll try and hit him with this first set of fireworks and see how much damage this does wow that killed him which is weird because we didn't kill the twins or skeletron maybe because you know we hit him in his cross section which does a lot more damage i don't know all right now we're testing this out on plantera and the golem let's go ahead do plantera first we're gonna get her up as high as possible and then activate it just to make sure that every layer hits her okay so she's at 27k i don't know man i don't think it's gonna kill her yeah that didn't kill her she's at 14k oh well moving on to the golem all right like i said let's do the golem now i'm hoping we can beat him the only thing i'm not sure of is obviously the multiple phases that golem does have that's not bad not bad we got it to 16k now let's make him slowly hop over here now, go ahead take your time is your death it's not mine so you can take your time boom yeah that's what i was worried about was the second phase not being able to get killed by the second set of fireworks it's all good though moving on to the next boss so we're moving on to the big boys here we got duke fishron lunatic cultist and of course moon lord i don't expect to kill any of these maybe duke fishron but duke fishron does have multiple phases so that's the only thing i'm worried about let's go ahead put to the test come on duke get right in the perfect position boom damn 43k man their health pools are getting too big their health pools are getting way too big for this to even get close actually that was kind of close 26k that's actually not that bad all right so i split this into four different sets of fireworks so each lever will trigger a uh, you know set of fireworks and they're all split up here maybe that will do more damage i'm not sure but let's go ahead lunatic cultist where far art thou i need you to come down here please can i reach the lever from here how far can i reach that lever damn i can reach it really low okay that barely did any damage at least he's you know following me around pretty well look at him he's made he's making this a lot easier with him following me this has to be it come on oh my god it was so close 3k look away for a second all right look away for a second we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna, we're just gonna. there we go oh, that didn't kill him one more try one more try stop moving stop moving Bam! Damn, he's still not dead. All right, last but not least, the man himself, the one with three eyes. More, actually, he has a lot of eyes. But I don't expect much to get done here. Hey, can you stand right there? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I really don't expect to get much done <laughs> against him. All right, I guess we. Oh, he completely dodged it. He's a fucking genius, apparently. He's a god at dodging. He should be the one playing Terraria, not me. All right, so I'm giving you guys some bonus content here. We're going to fight the other three vanilla bosses from Consolaria. Lepus. Easy. I knew that was going to happen. Turkor. Damn, he get low-key kind of tanky. Hey, can you come over here? Turkor, I guess you win this one. And now Akram. Now, Akram. I, I have no idea how we're going to kill him. Hopefully, he just stands still. All right, Akram, come over here. Over here. Yeah, you can do your little spin thing. Come over here. Ooh, he's being kind of loud. 
All right, right there. No, no, no. Come back up. Perfect. Damn, he almost killed. He almost died. If we had, you know, these other couple of rows set up, I feel like he probably would have died easily. One, one last try. Okay. Come on, I, I need to kill you, not your health. Your health is too low. Come back over here. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out these firework guns. Now, like I said, you probably know exactly what they do. They just shoot fireworks. And it's really cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Game Raiders week four. You know, this is the last week I'm going to do before we hit 100K. And then I'll finish off with Game Raiders week five, which is going to be the last official game raiders week and uh you know this game raiders week was a little bit different because i'm trying to throw in streams and stuff into the game raiders weeks you know just to have it be a little bit more varied so it's not just like episodes all the time but yeah other than that just know that through like the 18th to like the 22nd of july i am going to disneyland so there's gonna be like a little pause in videos there not really i'm gonna try and schedule upload but in terms of like streaming and stuff that's probably gonna take a pause we just hit 82k i love you guys but bye i'll see you in the next episode i'll probably stream after this so check out my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101